This may be the perfect casual utility belt. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this belt here. It's by Juke Mo. Not sure that that's how you pronounce it, but I wanted to pick this up because I was looking for a nice casual belt, not something that's leather that I care about getting wet or deforming over time. Not necessarily something even for work, just something for play. And I got this because it was more casual, as you can see here by this nylon webbing. But the most important feature of this belt is this awesome buckle. First of all, I just want to show you, this is probably about an inch and a half wide, so it's a pretty standard belt size. You do have to order it in the length of your waist, so there are some sizes here. You can see that the edge is rounded and then melted. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's not going to stretch or deform much, you know, especially in temperature or in water. And so this is something that you could wear with tools on it. You could wear outdoors you could wear while working something that you might chalk up to a tactical or an activity belt so kind of looks like batman's belt now on this end you do have a little keeper strap right here and that slides up and down it is elastic so it should stretch and it'll allow you to kind of tuck any extra edge of it and then because it's elastic once you tuck any extra strapage under there should hold it in place pretty nicely now the funny thing about this is the strap is not going to go in the top here it's going to go underneath and the reason that is is because this is a ratcheting belt but it's a really innovative little design first of all the ratchet itself is kind of innovative now this one is just a little bit different in that on the, some of the leather belts, there is this plastic track in the middle of it, but this is just going to latch into the nylon itself. And if I show you the underside of the belt, you can see we have a little cam under there. And what's actually interesting about that is it's two little edges on it. So it's gonna press down on the belt in two places, not just one. So you aren't gonna have like a single blade kind of holding it in place, you're actually gonna have two. But when I press down on this little lever, you can see that that little cam goes up, releasing the belt. So when I release it under that spring tension, it's gonna hold that belt into place and it's not going to let it move, which is nice. But as soon as you pull this lever down, push that down like that, you can strip off this belt in an instant. Now, what makes this really nice is that you don't have pre-drilled holes in it so that if you wear different clothing that's different weights if you put on a little weight during the day or you're feeling a little heavier than normal or you're feeling a little skinnier than normal you don't have to worry about this belt not fitting because you can wear it a little tighter some days or some moments or a little lighter or looser which is really cool now the other thing about this it has this fake pin right here and so when i take this edge of the belt and i push it through here and when you push it through you can see it pushing this little lever up because it's pushing those teeth in. It looks like a standard belt buckle because it looks like the webbing goes through there, but it doesn't. If I flip it over, you can see that the webbing goes through the buckle from behind. And then I can put this little keeper strap on there if you even need it, if you have enough. But then if I hold this little button down there like this, I can pull that strap back out. So here, here it is loading in on this side and you can see how that goes in. We have another little keeper bar right there. And now pushing it in, if I pull on it, Nope, that sucker is not going to move until I push this down and pull that strap back out. So how does it feel when you're wearing it? All right, I tucked in my shirt to be a little more formal to show you the belt. I actually put it on here and for the most part, I don't even need, the strap goes all the way out here, but I don't even really care about this keeper strap because my belt loop kind of holds it in. But like I said, it goes on there and if you're feeling a little heavier, you can just pull this little button and release it a little bit or just tighten it up to what you want. But if you want this sucker off, just pull that lever up and you can pull out this belt just like that. It's as easy as that. So pretty cool little device here. I love this little ratcheting component on belts. I will probably never buy another belt that doesn't have this because they are so convenient on a day-to-day -day basis. And because you can get this in a casual utilitarian looking belt like this or a formal leather belt for formal occasions or work, man, I just really like this. This is the new standard for belts. But if you want to pick up this belt for your everyday needs, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.